good morning everybody welcome back so if you have been following me or watching my videos um, you know that on my last video I put some E85 on the mark 7 and took it out for a few runs so I went to start it this morning and what was my surprise now the car has a misfire I felt sketchy about doing that and this is probably why I don't know exactly what's wrong with the car. I have a misfire for cylinder two. So I'm gonna have to start diagnosing and see if I can figure it out what the problem is. I'm thinking it's possibly uh, spark plugs or a bad coil. I already have some spark plugs on the way. I ordered the ones from the Audi RS7 one step colder so I'm going to be replacing those this coming week but for now I need to diagnose and see why or see if I can figure it out why the car is misfiring I'm going to start off by retuning the ECU just put the regular stage 2 back in it and then go from there there's a possibility there can be a turbo failure diverter valve maybe a loose charge pipe or a vacuum line somewhere I don't know yet because it did give me the code P0300 and that's for random misfire detected so maybe all cylinders were misfiring and there can also be a fill injector failure so I don't know yet if you're thinking about running some E85 in your car, I would suggest don't do it. I know I did it in my last video, but just wanted to give it a try and see if I felt any differences. And I did, the car pulled way harder, that's for sure. I noticed a big difference, but now I'm stuck with a misfire. So let me look around, let me reflash the ECU, and then we'll go from there. All right, so as you guys can see, I took the intake off the car to check the turbo and everything seems to be okay. There's no play in the shaft and definitely no oil. So I'm glad the turbo's fine. There could be a possibility of turbo failure and that could cause misfires for sure especially if you're getting a random misfire like I did but it looks like that code is not coming up no more so I'm leaning towards more the coils or spark plugs also if I have to do an injector it's gonna be a fun job because they sit right underneath the intake manifold right here so it's gonna be fun trying to figure this out right now I have the update downloading into the computer for the file so I'm just gonna keep diagnosing here see if I can find anything I don't see any charge pipes or any vacuum lines that are loose there's this small hose right here that's not connected to anything but I don't see where this might go looks like it might be like a breather or something for the engine it's coming off of the intake manifold so I'm not sure what this might be honestly I'll keep digging and see if I can find something but yeah that's it for the moment we'll see how it goes So the computer's all done installing the tune into the car and I erased the check engine light or the code that was stored in the ECU. I'm going to go ahead and start the car now, let it idle for a couple minutes and see if I get that code back. And if I do then we got a different problem. Let's 
just the license plate light that comes on here and there. Yep, it sounds like it's still misfiring. The exhaust tone was going up and down. It's settled now. I can feel a little shakiness. I mean, it's supposed to shake, of course, but a little bit more than usual. I'm gonna let it idle for a couple minutes and then check and see if I got the code. So there's no check engine light at all. It looks like it's just sending the code and storing it in the freeze frame data so it's not throwing the check engine light. I'll let it idle and then I'll re-scan it and see if I got the code. So it's been idling for a couple minutes now and it's not giving me any codes. I guess that's a good thing. I'm gonna take it for a quick drive and I'll rescan it again. So the car seems to be driving fine. I didn't notice this misfire at all until this morning when I went to turn it on after it got fully warmed the car was just missing I could tell right away I checked in there and the EPC light was on so I turned it back off and back on again and the car ran fine I scanned it and I had three codes the P0300 uh, zero, 01, zero, 02, and zero, 04, so that means cylinder 1, 2, and 4 were misfiring. I erased the codes and then I only got the misfire for cylinder 2. That's the one I'm dealing with, so maybe it has something to do with the tune or maybe the E85 feel. seems to be pulling just fine looks like it's boosting properly too so definitely not the turbo if the light comes back on I'm just gonna end up replacing the spark plugs they should be here in a couple more days I got them online because they were way cheaper. I think the dealer wanted like $40 per spark plug and I think that's outrageous. So the car is just gonna sit in the garage. Until then, I'm gonna swap coils from cylinder two to cylinder four and see if the misfire changes. And if it does, then I'll know I have a bad coil. But I'm gonna have to wait and find out till then so for now the car seems to be running okay oh yeah definitely running okay I don't know what that means fire might be so we'll find out soon
Alright, so I just got back from driving the car, stepping on it for a couple times, and I'm not getting any codes now. No check engine light. And it sounds like the car is driving fine now. No shakiness. That was just at first, but I'm pretty sure it's because it, the engine was cold. It's nice and warm. So I think we might have got the problem solved. Honestly, I want to blame the E85. If you guys are thinking of trying it, I will suggest think about it twice before doing it because I ran into this problem. I pumped it all out so I don't have any of that fuel in the car anymore. It's just regular 91 and all I did was reflash the ECU to a regular stage 2 91 octane and the car seems to be running fine now. I'm still going to replace the spark plugs once I get them here. The car already has 21,000 miles on it so I think it's time especially because I've been driving it really hard. So I'm gonna get those replaced, possibly do coils too and yeah I think that's gonna be it for now. No more power mods for me at least. For a couple more months i might be upgrading to is38 pretty soon so make sure you guys stay posted for that and also i'm going to be replacing my diverter valve i don't know if i should get the forge or cts i'm still debating on which one to get but it will be coming soon and yeah we'll see what else but for now, all that matters is to keep the car running and see how long it will last. I don't see any hoses or anything disconnected at all. And like you guys saw, the car is pulling fine. It's driving. And right now, I'm not getting no more codes. So, I think we got the problem solved. Maybe that adjustable file. Um was not okay or something went wrong I don't know exactly but that seemed to be the problem yeah I got no check engine light If the car's misfiring, that's how I noticed it first time. The exhaust sounded kind of funny, so that's how I knew there was something wrong. But it seems to be driving fine now. Let me rescan this one more time. This is not the best scanner. I have a better one, but it's it's at my job. This is the one I keep here just for emergencies. Yeah, I, I'm not getting any codes now. So I think the returning the ECU did the trick and got rid of the misfire. So hopefully it doesn't come back. I think that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys have any questions on anything, if you're running into the same problem feel free to leave me a comment right down below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more like I said I got more videos coming on the car and a couple more things so stay updated for that and I'll see you guys in the next one